Every object has certain properties. In this video I show you what you can do with these properties. We have a balloon object which has two looks. We inflate the balloon by tapping on it and at a certain size the balloon pops. Let's take a look at the corresponding script. First, we set the balloon to a specific size. Every time we tap on the balloon, it should get bigger in size. So the next bricks are when tapped and change size by. When the balloon reaches a certain size, it should pop. For this, we need an if statement. If you reach a certain size, change your lock. In the if statement, we need the size of the balloon. Tap on the value to open the formal editor. Here we have the option Object, where we find all the object properties. Beneath Movement Properties, we find Size. Select this property and to finish our statement, go to logic. Here we pick greater than and as a value we insert 100. If the size of the balloon is bigger than 100, something should happen. The balloon should pop, which is changing its look. Before we test our program, let's think it through. When the program starts, the balloon is at 70% of its original size. When we tap on it, it has 80%, the next time 90%, then 100% and finally 110. So we have to tap 4 times on the balloon to make it pop. Let's try it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yes, it works. Let's look at a different example of how we can use a property of an object. In an earlier chapter, we made a game where we had a ball and a UFO. With the UFO, we had to keep the ball from falling down. When the UFO missed the ball, the ball just fell to the ground and it was still possible to play. We can improve this game by adding game over every time the UFO misses the ball. In other words, if the Y position of the ball reaches a certain value, game over should be shown. For this, we need again an if statement. And for the statement itself, we take the y property of the object. If the y position of the object is now equal or smaller than the value minus 450, then a message game over will be broadcasted. The game over object hides when the game starts and only shows itself when it receives the message. Let's try this game. Looks good. Every time we miss the ball, the game is over. We could also add a button which lets you restart the game. We already have a really nice little game. Now it's your turn to try to solve the next task. 